up thing happens. But Jewish people somehow, I don't know, they have money. Be- no, they I'm gonna tell you why because you know, we- but no, no, no. I'm gonna tell you why Jewish people have money. Jewish people have money because they built their own community system. But you know why they it's said hard? we keep the money in here. here. I don't give yeah. a fuck how much we start with. We keep the money in here. Yeah. Eventually they will need to buy from us. Right. Now, guess what? We have right. all you know why they it's hard though. And this is what I mean when I wanted to tie it in with the NBA, right? You know what's hard? Cuz even on even on our uh our um notes. Shout out to our producer Alex, right? It says Milwaukee Bucks lead pro sports protest by refusing to play game 5 in their series against Orlando. It's hard for black people because of this reason right here. And for y'all don't understand one of one of the two, when it comes to sports, is two big sports that's always together. That's NBA and MLB. Marky Bucks did a great thing. However, they didn't come with they didn't come to everybody first. And that was the problem. Like they because they didn't come to everybody first and say, yo, this is what we think we should do. That's why LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, that's why they were upset, right? Because even though Milwaukee Bucks did a great thing, they did a great thing, right? However, they didn't come together. And as black people, we don't come together to really put our foot down. Yeah, and that. the problem is, it's like we have so many opinions. But Hold up. But did the Milwaukee Bucks put their foot down or did they, did they tap the bitch? Because the issue I also have is the protest lasted for two days. Okay, cool. You're right back at it. You're right back putting the money in these people's because, pockets. Nothing will change. No, because they wasn't together. They wasn't a unified front. Now, But because- at this point, once they made the stance, they you said they had a vote of should they continue or not. At that point, everybody's communicating. How dare you continue with these? First of all, it's it's deeper than did we all talk to each other. At the end of the day, these players, I don't even care if it's LeBron James, these players do not own anything within that National Basketball Association, right. okay? Now, I'm not saying they don't own things outside of it. They own nothing when it comes to that NBA. So the fact that you would still go play for the white man at this time and you would still put money into his pockets, then are you really taking a stance or did you just kind of so, tap again, you, you tapped in and then you reneged because you weren't willing to sacrifice whatever it is that you had? It's not that sort of thing is, is having a unified front. And this is what I mean by Af- the African-American culture, like compared to so, so many other cultures, like we talk about this Jewish culture, right? Everybody has a unified front except for us. Like, they did a great thing, right? But because the NBA has an uh, a NBA association, they have a, a board that talks about these things, right? The Players Association. A yeah. Players Association, yeah. right? When you go in, you say, yo, I'm a I'm a boycott these games without talking to everybody else. Then we look sloppy because everybody might not be on the same accord. No matter what the reasons are, you can we can name so many reasons, but because everybody isn't on the same accord, we're gonna come back to one one front at the end of the day, right? So what happens is like we we salute. Um, LeBron James, we salute the Clippers, the entire um, franchise. We salute uh, the Bucks. However, when you don't come together first, this is what happened. It's not a change of heart. It's just they they didn't. They got voted. They, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't they didn't do it right. And I as African Americans, I wouldn't say like, they didn't do it right. We're not per, doing it right. So but the only thing ahead, I feel right. like is with Milwaukee, that's in the same with Wisconsin. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So that's home. Right, but then more importantly for the Bucks, it was more a, personal. Personal, yeah. yes. Because Sterling not, Brown yeah. had a situation where yep. he was racially profiled. Yep, they slammed him on the ground. Yep, he was crying because he John parked Hansen. in a fucking exactly. So they had situations where it's like spot. this is personal for us. Like we see this, and this is this. Hold this up, is it's more than personal. Just a it's personal for all black for people. all of us. It's no, but like in that situation, why you saw they were the yeah, first they team were the to first do it. So was one because of so one of the players was racially profiled. So because it hit home for them, yeah, so they, they stepped out right. and did that. But the thing about saying, it is we're not unified. Are you saying had they did something on the back end where they talked to everybody? Every team, it would yes. Every it would have been so much more every impactful. Every black player no, on the team. Every but, black player on this team, we need to all say Come no. together, yes. Not, not just all yeah, so period. what happens is like all if, of them. If, you go, if you go out and say but no. But I'm 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 exactly. just, I'm I'm yeah. just say this because I agree. Until there's unity, we will not move forward. That's, That's it. Yeah. All other all other cultures and whatever you have in ethnicities stick together. That's even right there. even when yeah. you see Mexicans they lo- cross oh, yeah, the border they illegally, the it'll be about ten of them, but they all live in one little but townhouse house, until right. they own their right. landscape and yep. company, and then they're putting it back into their yeah. community. Right right. We don't put it back into our community. Yeah. However, not we a hundred percent because some people up, do. Hold up, but here's the problem though. Right. And this is where I'm going to give us some leeway because, yeah, we we don't. But you also have to remember, 
these other ethnicities were not specifically divided the way no, we yeah, were. That's a fact. This is a plan for them. Yeah. So it's not even just about unity together, as much as it together. is. We we need a plan. Yeah. We don't have an active plan. We right. react yeah. by, with situations like this. Yeah. But once the reaction's over, so can yeah. I ask it's y'all? over with. But what yeah. are we doing when we're not being shot in the back? Yeah. Can I ask y'all something? Bro. Curious, right? Honestly, what can we do? We have to make a plan. So I was talking to my father and, you know, he said like something that really stuck with me. He said, you know, there's always there's never equality in the world since the beginning of times. There's always a ruler and whoever's time it is to rule. That's who's ruling. And there's a formula to it since the Egyptians, divide and all of that divide and conquer. So the problem, I think, is that we're continuously asking for equality in a world where equality does not exist. Never. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to rule. Yeah. But the only way to rule would be to make a plan, yeah. and it's, it might not be the nicest right. plan. However, it's what's necessary. Right. Have you ever seen a boss who didn't have to cut some people and do That's some foul right. shit That's to get fact. to the top? Everybody. But, but it's like fact. we don't have that in us, right. and it, we need to either get yeah. it or we need yeah. to fake it. And because goes- listen. We they will rule as long as they have the mental power of us yeah. to where we think that we're lesser. And we're that's asking, a, please, please look at us as an equal. Why? Nobody has ever since the beginning of time looked at anyone what as you, an equal. We need that's a great point, Jess. What we need to do is, right? All the black players in the NBA, fuck NBA. We need to be a, a Let's B start our own NBA. A yeah. black, black yeah. basketball like, association. So what happens, I mean, it's happening though. Once we're we, the talent. Once we once we really separate they will then understand the importance of us. When I mean us, exactly. black people, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it goes back to Joe Button podcast when I was saying like, yo, you can you can't have two lines. If you want to be independent, be independent, right? Yep. So it's like you can't you can't say these things right. and then be like, well, support me. But right. you know what? Right. We're but, one foot in, one foot out because we are mentally we scared, scared, honestly. Not even, but we're scared it's, it's because scared. some of it. Is, I'm gonna say fear but i'm also going to say some of it is also reality like yeah it's real. hard to walk away from something where you know for a fact that you, something's feeding your family exactly. Exactly. exactly and it, and not just basketball i'm talking right. about the grocery store everywhere I'm talking everywhere. about walmart i'm talking sacrifice. about everywhere. everywhere it's going to be hard but yeah if we can get at least the one percent of the black community to come together the way they uh-huh. did and they started running the country right if we can get us to come together right it might not start off as mm-hmm. you know all beautiful but at some point we will keep making the money until start it, it'll work its we gotta way. get resources per- like honestly itself. we gotta go we'll back to, to the blueprint we need resources yep we need weapons yep we need a leader yep we need uh our own communities yep. that, but not communities where they own it but we live in it i'm talking about we need to build our mm-hmm. own community and i was about to allude to that right um when you take away sustainability from a community it becomes an underground economy, right? And what you start to see is it self-destruct. And you see this in a lot of impoverished communities. Like there's no, there's food deserts. Like just take Baltimore City as an example. There's food desert. There's all of this stuff because you don't have a sustainable middle class in certain areas. So you see that culture start to emerge as a result. But on a segue, like a tangent, like since we're talking about sports, I just wanted to give flowers to Colin Kaepernick, right? Yeah. Because back in 2016, in yeah. 2016, when it wasn't like right now, I don't want to say that this is the trend or but it is. you know what no, I mean. No, it is. But he it took is. a stand when, when nobody, nobody was. was. He lost it all. He lost it everything. Right. He lost Bro. it all. Absolutely yeah. respect that. So man. I feel yeah. like right now is more of a time to really recognize that, like yeah. the foresight and uh, like to, to acknowledge yeah. the foresight that he had back then, because yeah. this is 2016, mind you. Right. So but 2016 hold up. is still happening. But Colin Kaepernick is also the perfect example, and not to cut you off, but. He still went and tried out for NFL teams. It's just that he was blackballed. Mm. So it shows you still that as much as you take a stance, as much as you disagree with what they're doing, how much doing, you still need them? You, you need, need them. them, and and they've created it that way. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's right, but that's where we but they're are. Always gonna right. feel but they're always going to feel imperial when we show that we need them. They're always going to feel imperial. But we're talking about because passion. realistically, that he likes doing. we need them right. because of the way that they've divided and conquered. We have to come up with the. We have they to made st- us, infiltrate. They made us. We have to. We have to take their formula. And use, use it, it against it them. Ourselves. We have to. Hey. We have to discontinue so we, asking for equality okay. because being equal does not exist in so, a world where it's survival of the fittest. So okay. So like, what I do know That's is a when fucking it, fact. I'm sorry, when it, it's okay. When I, what what I do know is that you know obviously there's different groups around. Like there's certain groups who are trying. Right. Mm-hmm. There's people who are trying to do this. Do we need one popular leader? 
to make it happen? Or I don't think we, we gotta so be unified. Why, we need okay, the wealthy so, okay. black people to come okay, together. There we go. And so we don't just need Americans. Is, we need allies. We need Africans. I, we need right. So what is it about the wealthy black people who? Why haven't they done it yet? Because, because they own the created, coattail of the fucking because, white people. But that's period. my point. But also, my hold point. on. So where also, does it really start? Because also, also, where does it really start? They, they've created us to believe that we can't share because it's only it's only enough. Like I, yeah. I, I gave you guys an example yesterday when we talked about this. I said what they'll do is this. They'll and then they wonder why we kill each other because they'll sit here and there'll be twelve black people. And they'll give them four crumbs uh-huh. and say, "This yep. is what you guys of get." Of course, we won't kill At this other. point, like, and it's survival of the fittest, not just for black and white, but just human nature. nature. So right. of course, now I'm like, I, I need this. I'm hungry. Absolutely. I'm right. hungry. I gotta get it from you. Right. Even if I love you, you're my sister. You look right. like me. I gotta take this from you because yeah. I gotta eat. If I don't eat, yeah. I'm gonna die. Right. At that point, my survival instincts kick in. Yeah. It, there's nothing to do with yeah. do I care about you. But what white people will do is there will be two people, and they'll give them twenty. Full, full an sandwiches yeah. and right. be like, eat. eat. Right. So, right. um, yo, what but, would, but, but what I'm, so that's why thing, black people are scared so, to help each other because they feel like I'm gonna lose it's mine. It's taken away from me. But yeah, I, exactly. Right. But I get it entirely. But my like, where I'm lost at, and like, I'm just like, I'm just be transparent. It's just like it does feel hopeless, just because where's the actual start? Because yes, we know. Yes, we need a community. Yes, we need a ruler. Yes, we need to do these things to enhance our black community so that we can rise up. Where does it start? So, for example, if we do if the Gemini Scorpio podcast does it right now. Yes, we'll get probably the demographic of the DMV. Fine. Right. But how does that reach Mississippi? How does that reach Texas? How does that reach Wisconsin? How does this reach this people for all you know everybody to get it under takes, the same it, umbrella? It, you know, I'm going to be how real does with you. Work? It's going to take thousands of years you, you know yeah. what we gotta do Bro, you know, you know, because this has taken if you've ever read of years. if you've ever read the willie yeah. lynch letter it was yeah. it was based on slavery mm-hmm. and you know he said he had a formula you guys anybody watching this look it up and read go ahead tell him nah this is i learned this at a hbcu nah seriously the willie lynch letter let me not because see the crazy thing is that type of stuff right there too it's funny within our community, but like right. I'm light skinned to you, but I'm, I'm a straight like, up nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, period. Fact. That's a fact. That's period. Fact. period. That's a it fact. doesn't I'm, matter. They look, they look at me and like a nigga, and, uh, like a straight up like nigger. a nigger, period. like a nigger. Period. And and honestly, they With almost the ER, they right. 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 like a nigger, like and they almost feel like ew, you're one of those niggers that somebody down the line raped your mammy. That's a fact. Yeah. No. And made right. you, and now I really That's don't like you because that was my bro, man. That was That's how they bro, look at bro. me. That they look at me fact. like, That's ew, real. you're a disgusting nigger. Like, you're like a mutant. Right. Yeah. But what I was saying is that the Willie Lynch letter, it was a blueprint of how to keep us enslaved, not just physically, but mentally. And they said that if it, if, 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 if this letter is followed, we will stay oppressed. It, we will stay this way for, for thousands, thousands of years, years. maybe thousands. even more. That's a fact. And, 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 it, and it was right. Yo, it was right. Um, but yo. if I honestly also let's all get together and let's look at what they've done. Let's read the shit that and they let's, yeah. let's and then we we, we can't yeah. infiltrate something that we yeah. do not know. That we yeah. don't understand. Yeah. That's yeah. why they kept yourself. us from being yeah. able to yeah. read for so yourself. long. Because yeah. they knew that hey, if we Jess. could read it, they knew if we could read it, then we might be able to fight it back. Hey, you got a motherfucking point today, Shorty. Nah, for real. This is what they do. Hey, listen, this is what we want to do. Um we're gonna continue to pray for our kind. You know, episode thirty eight. Um I'm gonna try to do something different today. Y'all gotta agree or not agree, and okay. um, but I'm gonna say it later. We just gotta hold it down for our people. Yeah. Period. Bro. And when we say hold it down for our people, we mean stop looking to other fucking people right. to yeah. accept us. Yeah. We don't need acceptance. We don't. Let's do we this on our here. own. Yep. Yo, we gonna do it by ourselves. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode thirty eight. Yo, it's a gang. You already know. We love you. Yep. You mean it, us. Right. Period. We don't give a fuck. It is for the culture. Is. Yo. Please. Gemini Scorpio okay. Podcast, episode 38. We fuck with you. Make sure you tap in. You um, know, that's all I got. To donate to the cause. We it. That's we it. Out. Gang, gang. Right. That's a wrap.